flip man, flip man. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Hit that bag. Flippin' R215 is live uh, December 29th. Man, two days. That's it. 22 is over with. Out of here. 23, what's happening? So we're here to talk about real estate investing with a strong emphasis on wholesale and real estate. Or your cash or credit. Doesn't matter. Uh, today's topic is how many... Cash buyers, do you need to wholesale houses? We'll get to that question and a lot more. Um, uh, we, uh, Renika is not here. She should be back next week, but AP is here to make this thing go smoothly. Uh, now, if you want to get pushed to the front of the line and get your questions answered, um, voiced. Get them answered first. Text the word Gator to the number 205-964-5243. Text the word Gator to the number. The domain name is still uh, available. Some people have inquired about it. No one has pulled the trigger. So if you're trying to um, step up your game or just start the game in the, in the Atlanta, Georgia market, AtlantaCashBuyers.com. With the website is available. I'm going to throw in coaching one on one coaching with it. So uh, you can text me for the freight 205 or oh, the cost 205 964 5243. And I would gladly discuss that with you and how I can make this uh, uh, work for you. So AtlantaCashBuyers.com is available for sale along with coaching through unlimited deals. So, hey. Let's get it. All right. So, um, again, if you want to join us on the live stream, get pushed to the front of the line with your questions. Text the word Gator to the number 205-964-5243. Over to you, AP. Oh, um, before we go to AP, uh, just one thing. We have to just let subscribe to the channel by selecting this button here. Once you subscribe to the channel, tap the little bell, select all, so you now are alerted whenever we upload new videos like this one and when we go live daily. Over to you. All right, there you have it, guys. Make sure you hammer that like button, share. Um, you still have time to snack someone and bring them on over with you. As Ty mentioned, we're two days shy of the new year, but you still have time. Uh, maybe not to complete a deal, but you have time to go ahead and start gaining some knowledge in regards to creative real estate investment, specifically wholesaling real estate, but little so no cash or credit. Um, so make sure you like, share, subscribe, all of the above, and also text the word Gator, G-A-T-O-R, to the number 205-964-5243. If you want to be bumped to the front of the line, join us live and ask any questions and follow-up questions that you may have. Um, to each and every one of you, if you weren't with us last Thursday, want to tell you again, happy holidays. Hopefully um, your holiday weekend was joyous um, and you got you had, were able to spend time with loved ones, friends and families. And hopefully this weekend you will be able to do the same. Um, but let's get into it. You're here to ask questions. I will read the questions and Ty will answer the questions. Um, Karma Baby, thank you for joining us. Sahara. Um, Cookie, Slap Nest, Paris Akins, and those of you on Instagram and TikTok, um, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, everywhere. Um, go ahead and start posting those questions in the comment section so I can read them and get you some answers today. Rock City 3 um, says, hey, Flip, hope you had a Merry Christmas. Um, this game is <laughs> X. How much you make flipping in 2022? Hey, guess what? More than you make if you don't even start. So let's start there. Better than zero. Um, you two can join us on that. Well, it's a wrap, Smith. Hi. Hi to you too. Um, BH underscore Bando. Trust me underscore 247. Tony Baptiste underscore. Thank you all for joining us over there on Instagram and TikTok. 
Um, thank you, North Carolina, for checking in. Still waiting on some questions in there. Go ahead and post those in that comment section and feel free to join us live. Before we um, close out today, maybe around the half mark, see how many of you um, continue to log in and join us. We will be answering the question of how many cash buyers do you need to wholesale houses? Hmm, that is a question we will have to answer to before we end out today. Um, so let's jump right into this. Free Bands TV wants to know, is Columbia, Tennessee a good market? So I'm going to go ahead and do it for you, Colum I mean, Free Bands, because I know the very first thing we're going to have to do, Columbia, Tennessee. Columbia is a city in Tennessee. Um, it is, okay, Columbia by itself has a population of 41,690. Columbia is included in the Nashville metropolitan area. So let's look at Nashville. Well, you ain't got to look, yeah. Metro. Now the Nashville metro population is way. almost 2 million. So, okay. I thought it was more than that. Okay. 1.989519. Okay. So yeah, sounds like a really good market to yeah. wholesale. Mm -hmm. What you think? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, Columbia is 45 miles from Nashville, which is like you say, that's basically that that uh, metropolitan area. So, yeah, that that town per se may not be uh, that attractive, but you're close enough to Nashville. Nashville is your is your market. All right. Um, so there you have it. Mo Giggity. I like that name. What's your favorite way to find leads or lists? Um, if you text the word text to this number, this video, it's a recent video that I did. It shows you how to put together a text campaign. And so why would I say that? Because that's the best way to find deals right now. Cheapest, most effective. You can get it all going basically in a day. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mo Giggity. Hopefully you were able to get that answer for you. And that was to text the word text, T-E-X-T, -E to the number 204-964-5243. Yeah. 205. She said 204. I did. did. Mm, my bad. Mm -mm. So Antonio36, how do you handle deals with realtors? Also, what do you say to them? How do you handle deals with realtors? Um, well, number one, dealing with a real estate agent, you have to understand that uh, you you and a realtor are at a natural resistance because uh, the more they sell it for, the more they make, and the cheaper you can get the property, the more you make. So just off the top, you all are at a resistance with each other. So just keep that in mind. Now, it can be done, you know, dealing with an agent, they're going to want proof of funds. They're going to want um, uh, an earnest money deposit, um, normally a thousand bucks or more. Um, and then you have to understand that the property is already being heavily marketed. So you have to have the right type of buyer. It can be done. People may run their whole operations that way, but it um, can be especially for someone starting out. If you're asking those questions, normally that's something you shouldn't be targeting. All right. Well, but you can learn like anyone else just from experience. After you get your head knocked a few times by some realtors, you'll figure out what 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 you could do and what you can't do. Um, so again, the main thing is finding the right type of buyers that are okay with properties already being listed because you're not finding anything that they couldn't uh, make offers on themselves. But again, not saying that they couldn't say, hey, well, you negotiated a great deal on, I still want it or whatever. But you got to find those buyers that don't care if it's listed or not, if you can get a good deal on it. Okay, mm. guys, go ahead and keep posting those questions in there. Cass from Pasadena, Cali, thank you for joining us. And SG1Fan23477 from Eagle Pass, Texas, thank you for being here as well. Um, they want to know, what is the best skip tracer? The best skip tracer? Now, um, uh, this video... Here, if you text the word skip to the number SKIP, uh, that video will break it all down for you. And that's batch lease that I use. But in the video, I, I show you how to um, how to use it and um, uh, how it actually works. 
So text the word skip to the number. All right. Thank you for answering that question for SG1 fan 23477. Mo Giggity has the follow-up question and is what was the hardest thing you had to overcome when starting in real estate? The hardest thing that I had to overcome? Um, well, I didn't know anything about it, you know, so uh, even though after I had went through training or whatever, I still had a lot of questions, but I had no questions to ask. Not, I had no one to ask those questions to. So that was the most difficult thing is just not having anyone to um, to to re uh, uh, confirm or reaffirm is that the word. Mm, yeah, affirm, uh, reaffirm. Yeah, confirm. One of them. Yeah, that you know what I had been taught was was real or whatever. So, so that that's probably the biggest thing. All right. You're more than welcome for that. Um, to thank you for the answer. Okay, so there go funny day says, Do I call the customer first, get info, then call them back with an offer? So the seller, do we call them first, get the information, then call them back with the offer? Is that how that should work? Uh well, yeah, normally uh it depends on how the lead came in, will determine uh how you communicate back and forth with the uh seller. Uh, so, um, um, in most cases, you're not going to be able to make that decision where you have a deal or not on that first conversation, unless you just really know the area, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in, in, or if it's a spot deal where you rode around, found a vacant house, and you already did your research when you called them, you actually got them on the phone, so you already know what price point you want to be at. It may have been a house that the front door is open because it's in that condition. And so you already know, you know, where you need to be. Then, yeah, you could probably have the conversation on one call or whatever. So it just depends on how the lead came in. We'll, uh, we'll determine that. Okay. So 107 underscore 9K says, who do you use for lending? Now, in wholesaling, do you even need a lender? Yeah. See, I don't do a lot of, um, well, really don't do it at all, um, any fix and flips. So lending is not even a, a part of the game for me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to just just wholesale most of the stuff that I'm doing or whatever, it's, especially with houses and, and land at this point. So you might have touched on this a little earlier, but Free Bands TV, um, who's in that Columbia, Tennessee market, wants to know what marketing strategy brings in the most deals? Text to flip. Yeah, text, there we go. Text to word text. This video, let's break it down. This, that's real. Well, just think about it. Just think about it, right? All right, so everybody's watching right now text messages. I'm, I'm confident of that, mm -hmm. right? Even if you don't know the person, when you receive a text message, you read it, or at least some of it, right? Some of it, right. So if you're texting people that own real estate, you're going to get more eyeballs on your message, even if they're interested or not, than anything else you can do. Cold calling, bandit signs, Google ad where it doesn't matter, especially for the cost. You know, you're, you're reaching a lot. You can reach a lot of people in all forms of real estate. If you build the right list and you can get your message that you're interested in buying a house from them or buying a piece of real estate, a land, a commercial, whatever it is, if you can build the right list to do that with. So it's, it's text messages. It's, it's not just think, like I say, think about it. You know, who doesn't read their text message? And that's the only thing you can do at the end of the day is get people to know you exist. If you're doing that as a real estate investor slash wholesaler, you're doing what you need to do. It's just a matter of time before you, you do deal, do some deals. All right. Thank you for answering that. You're welcome, Marlon Reed. Um, they said, hey, Ty, thanks. Thumbs up. Boom. Um, no problem. Thank you. That uh, uh, From TikTok and Instagram. Talk to those. They, they, that's how they... Well, I ain't, ain't got to tell you, but you know, so you have to sort of identify him and stuff. You know, I, so. I, I am. Yeah, I'm yeah. engaging with everyone yeah, across yeah. all platforms right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Y'all keep posting those questions. Where y'all at? Y'all sleep. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay. There you go. There go. Funny day again. I did driving for dollars and I found a lot of absentee owners. I hate Walmart and I really want to get this down. Hey, don't blame me there. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of the blue story either for other reasons though. Um, but yeah, so he's drunk. He's 
driven around. He's got some absentee owners. What's his next step? Well, you need to um, do your research to see who owns the property. Okay. Right? And so, um, if you text the word, um, well, it don't matter what you text, really. Um, well, Doug, I'm sorry. That's stupid. Uh, text the word vacant. I think I still have that as one of the keywords. Text the word, um, let me look real quick. Uh, text the word, uh, la, 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 la. I do not listen to Jerry, la, la. Yeah, text the word vacant to 205-964-5243. Mm-hmm. And that video there will help you a lot with uh, determining who to own it. Or, or you could do the uh, word skip, either or both of those work. All right, thank you. Um, so Demika, hey, Demika says, hi, Ty. How are you doing tonight? Oh, um, Lasagna Melvin, hi, Ty. Can you reach back out to me regarding my North Carolina deal? Okay, so for you all that are finding deals, proposed deals, one thing, um, two things, actually. If you want a, uh, I guess, a 50-50 deal or partnership with Ty, what are the must thing, must-haves or must-dos that they need to do? Okay, so depending on what type of property we're talking about with houses, um, for sure, um, um, ideally we want to be off market, meaning uh, it's not for sale anywhere on the internet. Now, if you're using Privy and understand how that works, text MLS to the number 205, text MLS. If you're going to target real estate, I mean, properties that are listed, at least use that particular platform to do it with because it makes it easier for you to determine that. So that's one thing. But assuming you're not doing that, then ideally want you to be dealing directly with the owner. You have it on the contract directly with the owner, not someone else, blah, blah, blah. Um, it needs to be you. Your name needs to be on the contract with the seller, right? With the owner seller. All right. Uh, and then lastly, of course, it needs to be a great deal. Um, it needs to be a great deal. Okay. So and the reason most wholesalers never do their first deal is outside of not doing anything is they never deter- they never understand what makes a great deal or not. And so I have a video to, to walk you through that process. If you text the letters GD to the number for a good deal, great deal, um, <laughs> uh, to the number, <laughs> that video there will break it all down for you on uh what makes a good a great deal or not? You know, very important in the game. The right. Game. Lasagna, yes. I was just having a. I uh, just wanted him to make sure everyone knew. But Lasagna, uh, if he texts you earlier today, um, he will get back with you. Um, yeah. Later. Absolutely. Thank you, Lasagna. Um, Shannon. Wants, what? What? what, uh-huh. what uh, if she can elaborate on what deal she sent over? She said, and she just said regarding my North Carolina. Okay. Deal. All right. Okay. okay. Cool. Um, how could I buy a house on Section 8 as a first-time home buyer using the Flipman programs? They, they're saying how can they buy a house uh, if they're on Section 8 is what they're asking? It says how could I buy a house on Section 8 as a first-time home buyer using the Flipman programs? Okay. So- Whether she on Section 8 or not, that ain't what I'm teaching. Right. Okay. So, but 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 it can be a tool to allow you to to buy your first house in a couple of ways. You start wholesaling, make enough money to whatever credit issues, if you have, if you have, and you may have a, a, a 800 credit score, I don't know. So that won't be a part of it. Oh, you need down payment of money, all of that. First thing you can do is just make enough money to allow you to buy a house, whatever that takes. That's number one. Now in the process of wholesaling, in the process of wholesaling, you can make enough money to um, uh, uh, I mean, in the, in the process of generating leads, you're going to be presented with opportunities that will allow you to buy houses with no money. People will act as the bank and owner finance the properties to you. Those opportunities will present themselves if you're making those type of offers. Whenever the numbers don't work as a cash deal, as a wholesale deal, owner financing opportunities will exist. And some of those properties will be properties that you would actually want to say, hey, I would love to live there or whatever. So so those are the two ways that what I teach 
will allow you to get into purchasing your first home. But, <clears throat> but, <clears throat> but if you're talking about uh, in the sense of um, I'm teaching you how to buy a house the traditional way, no, this, and this ain't the game. But we don't do stuff traditionally around here. You know, we, we go against the grain or whatever, legally, of course. But uh, that, but make enough money and or just through your normal marketing channel, you may find a deal where the seller act as the bank in a nutshell. Copy that. Thank you. Cookie, I didn't say nothing. Nothing at all. Cookie said, LOL, your mind is in the gutter, Adria. I didn't say nothing. Oh, I, ain't even did, no. I didn't say nothing. Mm. I, not this time. Maybe she okay. thought I said something. I didn't say nothing. I, I, I didn't, I didn't say nothing. hear nothing. No, I, thank you. I know nothing. <laughs> okay. You know so, where that comes from? What? You know, you know Hogan's Hero? You, you remember that? Yes. What you uh, know about Hogan's Hero? Oh, that's about that. Yeah. Let, let me say, so you know my grandma stayed up here for four days. Uh, four or five days. We, yeah. You know, before my mama starts. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. So, not having traditional channel cable. She's like, ooh, I want to watch this at four o'clock. I watch this at five o'clock. I watch oh. this at 10 o'clock. And I'm like, granny, we don't have cable. We got all these channels. Just tell me what you want to watch. You can watch whatever. Think of a show you ain't seen in a long time. You want to watch Rifleman? You want to watch Bonanza? You want to watch, you, you know, want to, anything. Oh, so Gunsmoke? I don't like Gunsmoke no more. You, so, could, you couldn't pull up her Wheel of Fortune. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, she Steve liked Hart, family feud. She liked family well, feud. Well, you can watch Steve that till your, your eyeballs she, file out. She did, but and then I, I got tired of hearing it. Yeah. You on YouTube. You gonna be on YouTube. This fool gonna be on. I got tired of listening to it. Okay. So then she said she didn't want to watch Gus Mom. What we watched for five consecutive days, hours on end, Perry Mason, mm. Banachek, Rockford Files. Family Feud, Deal or No Deal, hundred million, hundred dollar, million dollar pyramid, whatever that is. She was picking all this stuff. We were just rotating out. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm put saying it, she was picking all. Yeah, this put stuff. it back on Perry Mason. I want to watch some Rockford Files now. Let me see some Steve. Okay, we we'll put it on another game show. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. If I, da -da, da -da, if I see Perry Mason one more time, <laughs> Raymond Burr. Mm. I, he. <clears throat> yeah, he put a bear in my side. That's that's my little story for the weekend. That's all I got to say. Oh wow! I would have rather watch I thought Bonanza. She, I thought that was unbelievable. <laughs> it was, and but the the sad part is she kept saying, "I'm I'm, I'm ready to watch the news." All of the news, <laughs> ain't no news. Like, oh y'all, oh y'all don't have no local stuff. No, like the local closest I could get was Birmingham, so we had to watch Birmingham news, and it was oh, always like watch, the out. Well, she knows she, she had watch to watch Montgomery. But I couldn't well, find well, I can't do that. Uh, I, I got oh, I, I know that's yeah. what I was trying to tell. I can't I can't just yeah. turn it to the news, Granny. Stop asking to watch the news. Whew. Okay, thank you, Karma Baby. All right. See, I gave y'all time to post some questions on them. See, that's what I did. It was intentional. All right. So Godspeed305 on Instagram says, How do I get started learning from you? I'm tired of my nine to nine. Ooh, that's not nine to five. That's nine to nine. I feel you on that. Mm -mm. So, what we gonna do? Well, um, how can you get started? Well, the main thing is is just consuming this content, man. It's literally all there. Somebody <laughs> and uh, but text the letters VIP to the number. Uh, this list of videos um, will get you going in the right direction. Um, I put it together. Now some more newer videos. Somewhat, I ain't gonna say not related, but I I have all the videos in that playlist. If you really want to do this, it's all there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's over a thousand if you include the YouTube shorts. Um, so obviously, you don't have to watch all of those. You don't have to come close to that or whatever. But that playlist, if you text the letters VIP to the 205-964-5243, don't put it in the comments. Don't text it to any other number. Text it to that number I just gave you, right? And um, and it'll get you going in the right direction. From there, it's on you, man. Because everything you need to know is in that playlist. Now, I would I would I would encourage you to uh, post your questions in the comments section of any video because I answer those on a daily basis. Um, but um, um, but but it's literally all that is is, is the point. All right. Thank you for show me the message again, please. Uh, which one? VIP. 
V is in Victor, I is in Igloo, P is in Paul. Put the V up. Yeah, like somebody code. just text the word playlist. That ain't what I said. I said text VIP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's why they were asking me to pull the words up. Oh, oh, they yeah, can yeah, hear yeah. you talking. I oh. can't remember what the word, but the oh, letter Oh, VIP. Were. That's where I got the cars. It's for the that's Instagram what I asked and, you to hold and up TikTok. They couldn't see it. Oh, they just live. They might not be watching. I right, yeah, right. Okay. I, I don't think that people... Are, they not. They may just have it in the background. They not watching. Yeah, I got you. Did you get it, guys? Speak. I, yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm here for you. Yes. There you go. V oh, and technically on the thing it says playlist. Sure, I'll do though. That's confusing. That it is confusing. So it's VIP for the playlist, but playlist yeah. is in red and caught their eyes. So he takes playlist, and I probably got it. Thank you. You welcome. I'm. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. All right, so <laughs> jumping back into these questions here. Okay, so Aris today, Joel, if you want to join the live for help with comping your property, 205-964-5243, text the word gator as an alligator, gator, gator, getting gator, gator, and you can join us live right now. And uh, you'll be able to have that property comped for you before we close out for the evening. I look forward to seeing you. Go ahead and text that number. Um, Damika, I closed my first deal with Ty back in 2018. It was a JV. Listen to him and take action. Hey, hurt, hurt. Cash out, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Letty Woods Moore, you have a question. Hush. I have a question for the first deal. Um, it's the first deal. The home is paid for, and the realtor is the seller's sister. Mm -hmm. What's the rest of it, Letty? What, what do you have questions for? Yeah, we need a little more info. A little bit more info, Letty, and we'll be happy to try to help you out with that. Um, so, Noella, Noelia, that's beautiful. I like that. Noelia Tuck says, Thank you for all your resources, Flipman. We have used a lot of your stuff to do deals. If somebody has $500 to spend to kick off their wholesaling business, what specifically would you recommend? So I think you get asked this question a whole lot. And I know you always say text. Te there you go. I can even get out of my mouth fast. Text, 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 text to flip. Um, so we're going into the new year. And before we even get into tax season, we're not talking about right, tax and season. Somebody, we're about and I'm right watching now. all of this come on my phone. If somebody just takes the word text, but they put spaces in between the letters, you're not going to get the reply back. It's text, no spaces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So listen, I'm over here policing, ain't I? Yes. Well, I, I want them to get what they what they're trying to get. You know flip, what I'm saying? Flip the phone over. Yeah. Flip it over. Dog flip. Yeah, no, that's how they and they send it. They send it back the right way now. So and now they're gonna get some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 See, now they're gonna get a ding ding yeah, on their phone. Okay, so. 500 bucks. She wants to know what specifically would you recommend? Text the flip. Okay. Setting yeah, a watch text this, campaign. Watch video. Okay. Yes. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's All it. right. There you have it. In the game. You're in the game. Okay. Okay. Letty. You're mixing it up, people. Hey, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, stuff. they just have to get creative with how, what they text. Is that accurate? That's why they need well, to watch the video. Well, well, what I'm what I'm offering, if you sign up through uh, Text to Flip, you mm -hmm. know, I'll I'll, um, I'll 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 send you a little video on uh, just type the scripts. Well, they gonna have to set you to set it up anyway, but I'll help you know what I can on it if you sign up through Text to Flip. If you sign up through Text to Flip, all right. So, um, Letty did, did follow up. She doesn't have a cash buyer yet. She's creating an assignment contract. They are renovating. Almost done. Just need some advice. Um, how can I talk with you, talk live with you guys? Text the word Gator, G-A-T-O-R, to the number 205-964-5243. You'll receive a link and follow those instructions um, to join us live. When I see your face, not your profile picture, I will bring you on. You can ask uh, your question and any follow-up questions that you may have. Um, Letty, just on the surface, though, it sounds like you're dealing with the retail uh, full full value home, probably not a wholesaling opportunity, um, but still come on and let's see what you got going on there. <clears throat> All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Tiffany checking in. Hey, 
How you doing? Kevin Cato, what is the minimum number of bandit signs you recommend putting out your first time? Well, with bandit signs, you want to scout out the area before you even put out signs. You want to identify the areas where other signs already exist. And the reason you want to do that is because bandit signs are nothing new. And the uh, people that are using them in your market effectively, they know the areas they can get away with them. In a lot of cases, in the suburban areas of any market, you normally can't put them out. They're going to take them down really fast, which is a waste of money at that point. Uh, normally you're going to be able to get away with them in the prices of houses that are probably the lowest and maybe the next level up. But you still need to scout out your market to see where they are. And you want to place them in the same areas. Now, you don't want to go crazy regardless of where you pick to choose. You choose to place signs. Uh, you want to put out maybe about 10 or 15, wait about four or five days, see how many of those up are still up. If most of them are still up, then, you know, you want to compound in that area and you want to repeat and rinse in each area. So, yes. All right. Thank you. Um, Omar, what's going on? I'm here. What's going on? Professor Flip, Adria, everybody, let's get it. Let's get it, get it. For y'all, I put it in the chat box. It is on the screen right there, but I still put it in the chat comment section as well. That telephone number that you can text the word Gator to and all of the key phrases um, for the additional information. Um, so Willie Carson, you wanted to know where you can find a purchase and sell agreement and a signed contract. That purchase and sell agreement um, is available to you on dulator.com. That is dulator.com. Um, if you go there, you will have access to that one page contract that Ty's been, been using since the beginning of his wholesaling career. Um, it works. It gets the job done. Um you can plug and chug your information. You can email it for, you know, virtual signatures. If you just got to print it out, you can. Um, but it's all there. And also, when you go to dealulator.com, you have that dealulator calculator, which assists you in figuring out if you even have a deal. Plug and chug those numbers, team. Um, the thing is, is that oftentimes you think you have a deal and you don't. Plug in the numbers. The, the numbers don't lie. It's all in the numbers there. So thank you for that. Uh, for that plug, Willie, letting everybody know where that contract is. So do you prefer texting over phone calls? So I get it. The best marketing strategy is texting, texting, texting. Now, once you get that response, do we continue texting or do we pick up the phone and start talking? No, it's just, especially if you're using this system, you'll see, that most of the conversation is going through text. It just depends. Like if it's they, they got a lot of de what, the detailed information you want to pick up. You know, you see if it, can you give them a call or whatever. Sometimes people are just going to prefer that. Sometimes they're going to say, no, nah, text message is best right now or whatever. So it's just going to depend. The more detailed information you're going to need, the more you're going to have to reach out to them. I mean, you're gonna, more likely going to actually pick up the phone and call them. So. Okay. Gavin Montgomery visiting us on TikTok says, I got a property for you right now. Right now. The ARV is 125 and is under contract for 80, 86 in Ooh. Ashland, Kentucky. Well, okay. So the ARV is what? 125. Okay. So Gavin, so um, if we say the ARV is 125, mm -hmm. right? We just use the calculator. 125. I'm still using 70% here, even if a lot of people are using less, but we'll just roll with the 70%. So if I automatically take 70% of $125,000, we're at 87500 off the top. You haven't been paid. No repairs have been taken in consideration. Don't ever put a house on the contract until you get good at it without using my free deal calculator at dealulator.com. If text the letters DC for deal calculator, DC, one, two letters together, no spaces, and uh, you can access it, you know, but that's what the, um, the GD takes in the word GD to the number. That's part of what it's go, it goes through is explaining how to use that. Yeah. So if you just ran the numbers on the calculator, you wouldn't have put that property on the contract. Those numbers don't work just on the surface. Hey, Letty. Yes. Just Gator, G-A-T-O-R to the number provided. 
nothing came up. You should have received a link. It's I have three people down here. Yeah, waiting. so we know it's working. Juan Arista Day and who just working. popped out? Somebody just left out my chat room. Yeah, it, it's working. It's not Flip Man Gator, just Gator. It's the same thing what you see right here. So I, I'm not sure what's wrong. Try it again and we'll see what you get going yeah, on there. Just Gator, G A T O R, Gator. Yeah, she got it. 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 Gay tour. I think. All right. Um, let's see here. Big Daddy Flips on Instagram says, where do you begin to look for buyers for high-end commercial properties? Um, well, a, a good place is is um if if you um well, a couple of things you can do. Uh commercial brokers, right? If you have a real opportunity, right? Um, and then uh, then, if you have the right tool, oh, you can search and see who's buying what. Um, a great commercial tool. I have no affiliation with them. I wish I did. Uh, well, two of them. One of them I do. I'm sorry. One of them is uh, Crexy.com. Uh, right? I have a video on that. Um, uh, just If you go to YouTube and do a search for Flipman and Crexy, C-R-E-X-I, uh, that video will break that down for you on how to use that particular tool. It's a powerful tool. All right. Thank you for that. Juan Luna, you were there. Now you've gone away. There you go. All right. Adding you now. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing fine. Yourself? I'm well. Thank you. Where are you calling from? Oh, uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Let me get that off the screen there. Okay, so you said you wanted a property comp, right? Yes, please. Okay, let me give Tom one second to set up his screen. How's this year worked out for you? Have you closed any deals? No, not yet. I haven't really started. I'm, That's just, okay. looking at a, I'm just looking at a house down the street from me. Okay. All right. Well, what's the address? Uh, 202 206. South Jerome Street, Allentown, PA, 18109. Okay. You said 202-what? 206 South Jerome Street, Allentown, PA, 18109. Wrong with a J or a G? Who's that person? Uh, J. All right. Okay. Uh, so... Guys that are watching this on YouTube, I'm sorry, on Instagram and TikTok, uh, we're about 37 minutes in. If you want to go watch um, this information of how I'm doing this uh, for him. All right. So what we're doing in order to know if you have a deal or not, you have to know what the end game is. Right. What what will the uh, house of praise for once someone has done the renovations on it? So. Um, so anyway, so uh, what we got here, so. Uh, I like to just look at a couple of things. How many other properties do you have? Just one other property as far as linked properties based on this mailing address. Uh, doesn't show a transaction history here, which is fine. Okay, so now we get down here to the nitty gritty. So I'm gonna blow up this map here. And so on this map, um, I like to do the uh, map version. All right, so uh, ideally you see the thicker white lines. Uh, what street is this? East Hamilton. Uh, mm -hmm. well, we're really not even over there, so that's really not a major street. No, I'll say uh, Hanover Avenue right here. That would be a major street, but we try to stay with these dots, these uh, drop pins um, on that side of it. And the red dot is our property now. We have two two properties down here near it, so hopefully that's enough information with those. So, uh, so once we do that, we go over here to the uh, right. And uh, three things we like to look at out the top is the year built, the lot square footage, and the square footage of the property itself. The year built is uh, 1960. Ideally, we like to stay in a range of um, uh, five years plus or minus. Lot square footage, we like to stay in a range of 2,500 square feet plus or minus. And then the square footage of the property itself, uh, prop stream will automatically default 20% plus or minus of our square footage, which is 1190. So, um, all right, so we have these two properties that I've sold here. Um, I, I personally like to look at MLS properties uh, first um, if I have enough data. And in this situation, I do. 
So we have number one here that sold for $225,000. That sold back in August. Um, and so it was on, on the market 94 days. The year built was 1978, though, so it's a lot newer. Mm -hmm. uh, the lot is a lot smaller, but and the house is a tad bit bigger. All right. Um, let me see here. See if I see one closer to my year. And I don't use a lot older, a lot newer. So we have to go with nearest and best. So let's look at this property and see what condition it was in when it sold. <laughs> okay so uh this house here um i wouldn't say it was renovated but it's been well maintained or whatever so which is fine okay so um it was in pretty good condition all right so that's our comp right there uh as i said it's a little bigger um about uh not quite 100 square feet Nope. Um, so, uh, but being as that's a, it's significantly newer, so instead of saying 225, it'll probably be closer to about 210, 215. So we're going to go with 210 as an ARV. All right. So now I'll pull up the deal calculator as I was uh, referring to before that uh, my man from uh, that had the property in, what was it, in Kentucky somewhere? Columbia. Columbia. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I have two calculators here, one for the uh, repairs and one for the actual deal calculator. All right, the repair calculator, when we're using that, um, a simple rule here, it doesn't always work, but for the most part it does. If the house is livable, we multiply the square footage times, uh, I think it's 1190 square feet, uh, times $25 mm -hmm. if it's not livable times uh, $40. Okay, so uh, is this property livable or not livable in your opinion? Uh, it's boarded up. Okay, so we're going to say not livable. So we're going to change this to not livable, but it automatically changes to $40. Now, you can actually edit this if you want uh, right here if you want to. I can change that to whatever number I want to, but it's going to automatically default to $25 and $40. So now that brings it up to $47,600 in repairs. So we'll just round that up to $50,000. So we said the ARV on it was 210,000, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, and then we said 50 grand, a boom. All right, so something like this, normally on this ARV, you try to make around seven to 10% of this number. So I'm gonna say about 15 grand on this, right? Okay, so the blue number here is what you'll be trying to get it under contract for or less with the seller. The black number is what you'll put it back out there, maybe a little higher uh, to uh, to cash buyers. So so you need to be around, you know, 80 or so or less and you'll market it back out there if you're trying to make 15 that. But then, of course, this is negotiable here. So there you go. Thank you so much, man. All right. No problem at all, you man. Do okay. what you're doing. I like it. All right, no problem, man. Please, please keep watching, man. Everything you need to know is here, my man. Um, just, just take advantage of it. It's literally all here. Thank you very much, man. All right, keep all us right. updated. And happy New Year's. Same happy to you. Happy New Year's. Let's kill it. Have a good night. All right, it is today. You ready? Oh, yup. How you I'm doing? Ready. Today? Doing pretty good. How are you guys doing? Well, where you calling from? Uh, Decula, Georgia. Okay. Okay. Top Burnett County. Yeah. Right. So I had a couple. Huh? <laughs> go ahead. You're good. No, go ahead. All right. I had a couple of properties I was hoping you can come for me. Um, one of them, it's on a market, and I haven't spoken to the buyer yet, but he already has an a, uh, asking price. The the address is fifteen seventy five. I know I'm kind of running at a little, real, little risk putting it out out there like that, but it's fifteen seventy five Pontiac Place. P O N T I. Okay. Oh, you mean you mean a seller? You don't mean a buyer. You mean a seller, right? Seller. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, you said uh, 1575 what? Pontiac Place, P-O-N-T-I-A-C. Place, Southeast Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so on this one here, let's see some history. Uh, most recent transaction was back in 2000. 
five. See a bank, a recent bankruptcy here, Lean. Okay, so um, let's get into it. Um, I was say they had your property up on the internet. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the draw tool here just to capture these right around this property here. So uh, let me do this. Come on. Come on. All right. Same rules apply. Look at the year built lot square footage and square footage of the property itself. So this property here is a, let's see. She's a thinking, she's a thinking. <clears throat> All right, so um, 1950 build. Uh, looks like everything here is in play. All right, so the lot square footage don't really show anything on four hours. A uh, lot in the square footage of the property, 1,054. Okay, so uh, next thing I'm going to do is look at the most recent transactions. Uh, show one in November that sold for 230. Show one in September for 314 or 315, we'll say. Okay, so is that 315 an outlier? Is that normal? Uh, so we got a 1952. All right, uh, let me see. Uh, I'm going to say it's an outlier. This 230 is probably going to be more accurate because it's more recent. Okay, so. Um, all right, so. Um, um, Ours is, uh, well, it's just a tad bit smaller, so it won't make a big difference. So, so we're around a two, 230,000, right? Um, as far as an ARV, uh, what, what are they asking for? Uh, 188. Oh, yeah, that's tough. So, if we just go over to the calculator and we put 230 in, and even if I just put $1,000 in repairs, which is probably more than that, I put 10,000. 1,000 in repairs, right? And say you want to make a thousand bucks, which we know you don't. So we're we're at 159 just there without even any real repairs or your amount. You know, yeah. we're at we're at 159. Right. So um it have you seen the property or the condition? No, I haven't seen it yet. Okay, yeah, yeah. So so you know, you know, just off the top now, you know they're they're quite a bit off. Right. Uh just off the top. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you for that. Appreciate it. So I the next one, oh, you got I have one more. Okay, yeah, what is one it? more? Yeah. Next one, the address is thirteen Park Avenue, Southeast Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. All right, now this one here, a um, lot of activity, which is always good. Okay, so uh, we're gonna capture just this in this area here. All right, boom. Okay, so it's a 1958, I'm sorry, 1998 build. Um, most of this stuff is significantly older. Uh, we got a 2005 here to sell for 210 in August. Um, what number is that? Number five. Um, let me see what else we got. Let me just do this then, because so September is the most recent date. A 1965 lot of smaller properties, a tad bit bigger. So it's over 245. So uh, I'll be comfortable with that amount at two, at 240, maybe even 250, because it's significantly newer, uh, even though it's a little smaller. 
So 250 would be the number. What are they asking on this one? I haven't spoken to them yet. Okay. Uh, so I don't know exactly. I've been trying to get in touch with her, but she has not okay. time, But I got you. All right. So you know where to go to do your math on it. So, um, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, so even with this, and we just put 250 in. So it's off the top. We know we need to be below this number, three of 170. Three and some change. Right. Going to probably be a lot less than that, but just off the top, we don't need to be less than that. So, okay, okay, alrighty. That's all I had. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all the help you guys do. Uh, no problem at all, man. Pre- please uh, join us again. Absolutely. Have a merry new, happy, happy new year. <laughs> yeah, right, that, I like it. Have a merry new year and happy Christmas. Happy merry new year. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Good night. All right, man. Straight I do like that. Happy, merry New Year. What did uh, Eddie Murphy say in our trading places? What? When he got on the train, he was acting like the African. I don't know. What did he say? Uh, who knows out there? Trading places. Eddie Murphy got on the train. He was dressed up as an act, uh, uh, as an African. And uh, he was, you know, obviously in character trying to fool this guy. Who knows what he said? When he was, ha, 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 happy. I think he said, uh, uh, Ah, I what he said. Okay, okay, but anyway. okay, we'll we'll figure it out. Good yeah. moving. You still ain't answer the question, Anton. Though you got to answer the question. Um, so let me ask, let me read two questions. New way and Letty. I see you finally got on there. Merry New Year. I see you. Um, so oh, that what he said. Merry New Year. No, 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 no. Oh. No, I was re- oh, Merry New Year. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, <laughs> Merry New Year. Look at that's trust me underscore 247 yeah. on Instagram. What the and come through answer? Where Eric at? Eric, you supposed to be the move quote guru. You slacking, you slacking. I ain't even seen him in the chat box today. Slacking, mm. okay. Um, so from Instagram, we lease and buy homes. Um, says when cold calling, how often do you call the same number? So when do you double back? Uh, uh, ideally, they say um, you exalt the list seven to ten times. Okay. Okay. Meaning you go back through it seven to ten times. Okay. Obviously, the people that you've talked to, you want to remove those, but you know the ones you haven't reached. Yeah. There you go, Anton. I knew he was going to come through with the quote. There you go. Second up. Speaking of cold calling, uh-huh. if you're going to use that option, uh-huh. then there's a device that I recommend to put everything on steroids. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. On steroids. So text the word dialer to the number, and you will thank me later. Bet. Um, new way. I see your profile picture, but I do not see you. Um, I will bring you on live when I actually see your face. Um, But right now we do have Letty. Hey, how you doing? How you guys doing? Thanks for having me. Um, And happy holidays to you guys. I'm very new at All right. Uh Uh-oh. No. No. We lost Letty. There she go. Oh, there you go. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. My daughter was trying to call. Sorry about that. So, um, it was a property not too far from my home and they were renting it, but now they are renovating it and, um, it's totally paid for. And so I made a U-turn and the owners was there. It's a brother and sister. The mom passed away Mm. and left the home to the, to the children or whatnot. They grown. But, um, so, I don't really know. They're still renovating, saying they'll be done like, uh, I think he said the early part of next week, right after New Year's. And um, I've been in touch with the realtor who is the son of uh, the seller. He's the realtor in the seller, is the brother and sister. And the home, it sits on like two point something acres, 2.4 acres. And um, I just don't know if this would be a good deal or or how I can I don't know. Uh well, um uh did they, did they give you a price? Well, um the sister not knowing, I was, you know, I winged it when I made that U turn and the sister not knowing, she just shot out some numbers 325. I kind of got on Zillow. Um 
and just kind of did the surrounding areas with the comps we're going for. And I put the address in and it said 294. Mm. So uh, did you get a contact number for them just so you can reach back out? Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm, I touch bases like every once a week with the um, okay with now, the realtor. I can look it up and tell you what I thought to see if they're, they're in La La Land or not. Oh, I'm sorry. What was your question? I mean, what did you I, just say? I said I can I can look up look it up and, and let you know if uh, they're asking price if they're in La La Land or not. Okay. All right. Want, it's up to you. It's up to you. Um. Well, uh, I I was just trying to figure out if it's going for two two ninety four, and I don't really have. Uh, I'm inquiring about cash buyers. But well, one of them told me something about 60% after the ARV and my fee. So I just don't know if that would be feasible. Well, well, yeah, from what you're telling me, you said Zillow not saying that that's automatically what the number is. Right. With ARV. Uh, but um, if they're asking three and some change and Zillow is saying two something, you know, you're, you're a long way off from where you need to be. Now you can always make an offer, um, but you would probably need them to be in the in the hundreds, and they're in the three hundreds or whatever. Right. So you know, you take they they would be taking a real haircut uh, in order to uh, do business with you. So um, again, you know, offers are free, but uh, from what you're explaining, it doesn't sound like they're that motivated to sell at this point. Oh, they motivated. Um... Well, well, what I, I, I mentioned to them, I said, well, before y'all get it on market, on, on the market, uh, let me and my partners is the word that I use, come in and do a walkthrough and we come mm -hmm. up with some numbers that we both agree on. And they were for that. They just want me to wait till after they complete the renovation. Mm -hmm. Well, see, that's the thing. They're not motivated, you know, because if they're, see, the price determines if they're motivated. They want mm -hmm. to fail, but they're not motivated. Motivated would be, oh, we, oh, we want to sell it as is, 150. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? The price okay. shows how motivated someone is. They can talk whatever they want to talk. What is that price based on the condition? So they still, they want to actually do a renovation. So that means they want to get full price for it, which is fine. It's just not what you're looking, not, those are not the type of people you're looking for. Right? Okay. Because if, if, because, because ideally, um, if they just want to liquidate it quickly or whatever, you know, they don't even have to sell it at that significant a discount, but they wouldn't even have to uh, touch it, you know, and, 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 and still probably get in the tools for, I don't know what condition it's in, but. It, they did the outside. It looks fabulous. I just haven't okay. seen the inside. And I'm thinking that price too, because it's sitting on a couple of acres, mm -hmm. you know. I don't yeah. know. Is, is, that, is that the normal size lot in that area? That's, that's, no. that's outside. No, there. the house yeah, is a, a 1944, <laughs> built in 1944. So they try to give it like a facelift in the inside. Mm. You know, okay. just get some modern stuff going. You know, this yeah. was the parents' house. Okay. Um, well, yeah. So uh, with that being said, then, of course, um, again, they, if they're doing renovations, they're trying to get retail for it. You know, that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So okay. I'd say that you're wasting your time, but it sounds like you might be as far as a wholesale deal. Okay. Again, you can call and make the offer. So I'm saying, right. you know, if you want to do anything else to it, you know, would you be willing to take 150? Now, you know, that's it is. Now I'm just throwing that number out there without having all the information. I'm just saying that, you know, they want three something and I'm pretty sure you're going to have to be in the hundreds. So you're, that's a long way from there. Those are, you know, that, that's a long way. Okay. Um, I got a, a distressed property. It's vacant. Um, but I cannot get in touch with the uh, owners. The tax okay. uh, office cannot find the owners. I can't find the owners. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. So, um, uh, well, in that situation, then... Um, um, uh, have you sent them something in the mail? No, I have not. Okay, yeah. If you have a mailing address for them, you know, you want to send them a letter in the mail. Okay, okay. Um, I have a duplex I got my eye on. It's okay. boarded up. 
Yes, ma'am. Uh, same thing, can't find the owner, so I'll reach out to them by mail as well. Mm -hmm. um, do people buy churches? Cause I got a boarded up church. I, I've never, I've never done. A, I'm sure they do, but I'm, that's nothing I've ever done. You know. So okay. Um, what about abandoned what apartment building? Oh yeah, most definitely those. Okay. One question for you. Um, as far as a joint venture, like yes, you helping me out, do, yes, do I have to pay for that? Well. No, you don't. If like you're talking about that apartment building, I, out of everything you just talked about, now that would be something I would uh, love to, you know, research with you to see okay. if I uh, can reach out to the owners. Um, okay. So no, if you got stuff like that, abandoned apartment building, I'm game. Duplex. Yeah, stuff like that, just all day. As long as it's not already advertised on the internet anywhere for sale. And, okay. And, and if people don't know this, social media is the internet. So okay. And I did get your ebook and I'm going through it. That's how I'm able to, I'm just kind of winging it going through it right now, but I'm just yes, getting started and I look forward to the, um, to the outcome of this here. All right. No problem at all. Uh, most definitely though. Just hit me up if you have stuff like that for sure. And I appreciate the purchase that you made. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. And thank you for your time. Uh, no problem at all. all Please right. join okay. us again, Ms. Letty. Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we've had several join us. That's great. We're going to pause, like pump your brakes, pump, pump, right quick. And we're going to go over mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the topic of the day. How many cash buyers do you need to wholesale houses? Hold on a second. I was just thought out that, but uh, you didn't say it right. Bam, there you go. Okay, so... Look at Flip with the <clears throat> Cuban in his mouth counting candy, his coins. Candy, candy, uh, <laughs> candy, red. Candy, candy, red. Yeah. So, how many, uh, how many cash buyers do you need to wholesale houses? Okay. All right. So, um, ideally, as many as you can get your hands on, but to function at a, a decent level. To make a uh, an income to uh, allow you to um, you know do it full time, um, definitely you could do this with um, um, at least five buyers, right? Five mm -hmm. strong buyers. When I say buyers, they buy as many as you can send them, right? As many as you can send them, right? As long as it fit their buy box. Buy box. Ooh, buy box. What areas, price range, level of repairs they like to deal with, size of the house, their buy box. Right? So if you get those right now, so you say, well, uh, what if I only have one? Well, that's that's cool, but then you're beholden to their buy box. If it doesn't fit their buy box, it doesn't mean it's not a deal. It is mean it's not a deal for them. So the more you have, ideally, you're going to have more opportunities, number one, to get maximum price on it. Because if you find something that fits a, a, a number of people's uh, buy box of what they're interested in buying, a lot of times you're going to be able to get exactly what you're asking. And sometimes they'll even bid it up if you're fortunate in those situations. So, but if you got a, 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 at least five buyers, uh, that's a really good, a really good um, starting point as far as um, um, uh, being able to feed those. And you can use other wholesalers to feed those deals through co-wholesaling. So, all right, so we got the question out of the way. Hopefully I answered that with some level of uh, sense. I do believe you did. All right, Dr. Dansby, you ready? Uh, yes. Hi, there how you is. doing? My man. Doing good. How's everybody? Doing well. Oh, super tight. How's it going with you, sir? Oh, good, good. Happy holidays to you guys. Same to you, same to you. All right, Flip, what I got here is um, some land. I got an address for it. Uh, and the people are motivated. They want me to find out what it's valued at. So I, I wanted to know whether you could help me out there. All right, yeah. What 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 what's what's the address, sir? 
uh, 59 Free Gospel Church Road, 35206, Walker County. Um, Walker County. Walker County. Um, you said 59 Free Gospel yeah, Church Road? Yes. What city and a town in Walker County? It's got to be Dora. Dora. Got a property there now. I can't move. Um, <laughs> um, so I don't. I don't even show that address. Um, it'll be hard for me to. Uh, I didn't, let me do it this way. Um, I'm just going to copy this. And go back here and just do the street name itself and see if it pulls anything. It still does it. Okay. I have one yeah. other address that's on there. It's a property about an acre or so that has a trailer on it. And that, that? that address is 39 Austin Circle. 39, 39. Austin Circle. Okay. Austin. Yeah. A U S T I N. Okay, yeah, you you uh, Austin Circle, hmm, Dora. Let me Google that. Okay, Austin Circle Drive. Okay, I think what it is. Yeah. Okay. See, so you, you, I don't know if you guys noticed what I did there. Um, and it still didn't pull it. Well, well, let me put this comment here. I just googled what I had, and it tried to figure it out, and that still doesn't work. All right, so let's do this. Let me just look at Austin Circle Drive. Still doesn't pull anything up. Oh, mm. Well, see, it's not even registering anything as far as on Zillow or anything either with that address, which okay. means I'm not getting anything on Zillow through a Google search or any of the other sites. Those, yeah, those are some tough addresses. You have to use uh, parcel IDs on those. Okay. Uh, try to find something. Okay. Well, I, what I'll do, I'll, I'll see can I get the parcel ID. I okay. know the owners and they're tired of uh, dealing with it. So how, many, we, how, many, how many acres are, are there? I think it's about an acre and a half. Acre and a half. Okay, cool. You got one trail on it um, that's vacant. Uh, so they're trying to get rid of it all. Okay, all right. Yeah, um, yeah. if I get those parcel IDs, you can text those over. I'll, I'll, I'll look them up, see what I, I'll shoot you a text back, which is what I think. Okay, well, I appreciate you taking my, my request. Uh, Y'all have a happy new year. Uh, you right. do the same. You do the same, um, uh, Mr. Samuel. Thank you for joining us. All right now. All, All right. right. Good night. Mm -hmm. Good night. Yes, sir. Boom. Bam. Mm, mm, mm. Good job. Okay. You got some people on tonight. You got some properties comped. And guys, uh, you too can comp properties. Go to dealyoulater.com. Um, sign up for that subscription added to your tool chest of um, tools to your wholesaling tool chest. Um, you do have a trial period that you're able to see uh, the ending workings of doyoulater.com, aka PropStream. Um, and also reminding you, Atlanta cashbuyers.com website and domain name is for sale. And with the purchase of that website and domain name, you will receive coaching with the one and only. Ty, the flip man. Yup. So if you're interested or knowing the price, um, the ticket on that, or um, what exactly is included when we say coaching and the domain website, you're more than welcome to text the number 205-964-5243. And uh, we'll get you that information that you need. Um, so we're going to take a few more questions. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be like that lady up there signing it. They said a daggone word. Oh, she didn't know what she was doing? She... See, that was a whole like thing. It was this, um, it was this black lady. She was signing for some really important event. I can't remember and what it was. Like and they let her get up there and sign. And she was just up there moving. And come to find out the lady didn't know the first lick of American Sign Language. Wow. Not one thing was accurate. And it was something, in, it was like some news. Gosh, I can't remember. Some news of it. And it was a big deal. It was like, y'all not betting these folks and paid her good money too. Wow. 
five. Good money. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that, mm, yeah. That ain't been good to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're going to take a few more questions before we close out. We have been rolling a little over the hour. We're going to take you a little bit more into this last episode flipping our um, of the year, the last one of the year. So let's see who else has a question. Question. Let's slide over here um, to TikTok. And let's see here. They want to know, is virtual wholesaling better? Well, um, well, just think about it. You, know, it, 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 uh, you, you have endless opportunities, right? Um, so, yeah, it's going to be more lucrative to you because you can extend um, beyond where you live. So, yeah. You know, now virtual wholesaling land is a, um, a really unique and, and a good option because uh, with land, you don't need uh, boots on the ground as much because you don't have to show the property in a lot of cases. I did a video on Monday. I think you guys may want to check out. If you text the um, text VIP to the number, it should be the second video on the list right now. The first video is going to is going to break everything down as far as um, how to wholesale houses. But if you text the um, um, the letters VIP to uh, two o where is that man uh, 205-964-5243, that video there is going to give you a different way of looking at targeting land by targeting mobile homes because what I found in my uh, uh, not quite a year of um, doing land is that a lot of people, the buyers, they want land they can put mobile homes on. They got cash or whatever. So that video is going to break all of that down for you and how to build those lists or whatever. So if you text VIP to the number, uh, that video is really going to show you how to do that. That's a video that I put out on Monday. So I strongly encourage you to watch that video. So again, we have AtlantaCashBuyers.com for sale. For you all that want to get in one of the largest and hottest markets in the country, if you're already there, then you know what to do. And then it's going to come with unlimited coaching directly from me. And I'll show you, I'll teach you everything I know about the internet, you know. So I know a little, I know a little bit, probably a little more than most, a little whatever, which, could, which could make you a little dangerous. So, um, but that being said, we really appreciate Adria um, uh, giving us our time to make this go smoothly. So uh, this is the last time we'll do a live like this until 2023. Hey, playtime is over. La la la, time is over. Got well, I got one more day of la la, but uh, mm -hmm. Mon even though Monday is the official holiday, <clears throat> I'm, I'm all yeah. It's gonna be regular for me. Oh 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 oh, oh 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 oh. Guys, what? don't say it enough, but listen. Go join wholesaling real estate with the Flip Man Facebook group. Yeah. Go over there. Join that group and what? Well, something that they join. What what happens over there? Oh, yeah. If you got questions, you want me to comp a property over there, I'll do it for you. Uh also, ideally, I want you to just shoot a video and tell me, just create a little bit of uh, engagement there, shoot a video explaining your deal, and um I I'll space pay special attention to those and comp them. So if you want to get over there, you want to uh get a direct link to um to the uh, Facebook group, just text the word stack um, and um, deal or kill. <laughs> it's a deal or you kill it. All right, just get over there and uh, I'll, I'll uh, come. But like I say, just shoot a video uh, explaining your deal and uh, I'll look out for it. So boom, again, so uh, Merry New Year. <laughs> <laughs> no, we out. Yeah. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. If you text me and I'll text you back. Tick tock, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205 964 5243 Yep, yep. 205 964